O Lord, do not stay afar off. My strength, make haste to help me, for I am a worm and no man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Prepare ourselves now to celebrate these sacred mysteries. We call to mind our sins, asking the Lord to help us now as we come approach the final week of the season of Lent, the most special week, of course, Holy Week. We ask the Lord to forgive us for maybe the times we failed to keep the promises we made at the beginning of this season of Lent, and that we will try even harder to keep them for the next week. So we, next weekend we can celebrate with tremendous joy his resurrection. And so we say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints and brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have made all those reborn in Christ, a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I'm going to take the sons of Israel from the nations where they have gone. I shall gather them together from everywhere and bring them home to their own soil. I shall make them into one nation in my own land and on the mountains of Israel, and one king is to be king of them all. They will no longer form two nations, nor be two separate kingdoms. They will no longer defile themselves with their idols and their filthy practices and all their sins. I shall rescue them from all the betrayals they have been guilty of. I shall cleanse them. They shall be my people forever. David, my servant, is to be their prince forever. I shall make a covenant of peace with them, an eternal covenant with them. I shall resettle them and in increase them. I shall settle my sanctuary among them forever. I shall make my home above them. I will be their God they shall be my people, and the nations will learn that I am the Lord, the sanctifier of Israel, when my sanctuary is with them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far of coasts, say, He who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand, 
They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will scream to the blessings of the Lord. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to tell the Pharisees what he had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting. Here is this man, working all these great signs, they said. And what action are we taking? If we let him go on in this way, everybody will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy the holy place and our nation. One of them, Caiaphas the high priest that year said, You don't seem to have grasped the situation at all. You fail to see that it is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed. He did not speak in his own person. It was as high priest that he made this prophecy that Jesus was to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather together in unity the scattered children of God. From that day, they were determined to kill him. So Jesus no longer went about openly among the Jews, but left the district for a town called Ephraim, in the country bordering on the desert, and stayed there with his disciples. The Jews' Passover drew near, and many of the country people who had gone up to Jerusalem to purify themselves looked out for Jesus, saying to one another as they stood about in the temple, What do you think? Will he come to the festival or not? The Gospel of the Lord. Our readings have been mainly from St. John the last couple of weeks, preparing for us for the great week that approaches and starts tomorrow with Palm Sunday. When we're reminded very, very much of the tremendous love that Jesus has for all of us, that he was prepared to go through what his father asked him to do. He obeyed his father. And yes, he did it, but he was frightened. Remember how he pleaded in the Garden of Gethsemane, but only if it was the will of his father. The father willed him to go through with what he'd come into the world to do. And why? Because of his tremendous love for every single one of us. 
Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice, and a very painful one at that. But he did it. What he's asking of us is that we too make sacrifices to be a true follower of his. To ask the Lord to help us to make the sacrifices that we need to make to be a firm, true, loyal follower of Jesus. Why? Because he loves us. And he loved us so much that he went through all that he did. And he wants us to show our love to him by doing all that he asks of us. And yes, sometimes it does mean making sacrifices. It does mean giving up something you may want to do in order that you can help someone in need. Whatever it is, we do it, and we do it because we want to return the love that Jesus has for us. So over the next few days, as we approach the great feast of the resurrection, let us pray that we will do our utmost to give time to Jesus. To give time each day, not just Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday, but from tomorrow. Palm Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that we make the sacrifices needed for us to have a closer relationship with Jesus. And in so doing, we can then look at ourselves on the Easter Sunday morning and ask ourselves the question, what have we done to celebrate this great feast? And hopefully the answer will be, We've given our time to Jesus. Let us pray we'll do just that. And so we stand now for our prayers. God our Father, give us the strength and the grace to be a true follower of your Son, Jesus that we will do all we can to show our love for him through showing our love to each other. We pray for the repose of the soul of Francis Porritt, who died recently, the uncle of Johnny here and the family. We pray for, that he is now enjoying and experiencing the fullness of Christ's love in the kingdom of heaven as we offer the Mass for his the repose of his soul. Lord, in your mercy. We've been asked you to pray for Stephen, whose anniversary is today. Pray that he too is experiencing the fullness of Christ's love. We pray too for all whose anniversaries are at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray for the people of the Ukraine. The terrible suffering that's going on there. Yesterday, another 50 people cruelly killed through a bombing. Many, over 300 I think it was, in, badly injured. Let's pray for them all. And pray that peace will come to that country. Lord, in your mercy. As the COVID continues, let us pray for the doctors and the nurses and all who are doing their utmost to try and cure us of this disease. Lord, in your mercy. And we remember, too, all who have asked us to keep them in our prayers. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary to pray with us and for us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts, Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. 
Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our action. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. Through all this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, for ever and ever. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities and us all of our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the gift we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The same is command upon by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion for those watching online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive you into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you've already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen.
Christ was handed over to gather into one the scattered children of God. Let us pray. <clears throat> we entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. We pray for God's blessing. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications and be attentive to those who include, incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and the joy of Christ. Thank you all very much and have a nice day.